Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to do the setup of my iPod Touch 4th generation. <clears throat> so I just got this one out of the box. And right here it's saying something in Chinese and everything. And it just says slide to setup. And you're welcome by that new screen. Other than that, plug into iTunes terrible screen. You select your language here. Next. Your region, United States. <clears throat> Enable location services or disable location services helps here help some apps figure out where your location's at so it knows where you're at. I'm just going to say disable for right now because I because there's only certain apps I want to be using location services. Next, and this one says that if you choose this, it's like your maps and everything won't be able to um, find your current location. And say okay. Or if you don't want to, you can say you can um, say no and then hook up to your uh, location services. Um, you can choose your Wi-Fi network here. And if it's locked, you have to do your password. And typing in the password right here and connecting. <coughs> Okay, so it's activating your iPod. So you can set this up as a new iPod, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes. I don't want to hook it up to iTunes right now, so I'm just going to set it up as a new iPod and I'll hook it up later. So say next, after you choose which one. So your Apple ID, if you have one, you can sign in with that, and if not, you can create a new one. And I'm signing in right now. Okay, signing in, and then you have your terms and conditions, and just say agree, and you can send it by email. It's asking you if you're sure you agree with them. Say yes, and it says it takes some, will take more time to set up your Apple ID and your iPod Touch. This might take a little bit. Okay, there you go. That took forever. <clears throat> so, you can set up iCloud. iCloud, as it's showing you, you do something on your iPad, and it, iPhone sends it to your iPad and computer. Do something on your computer, sends it to your iPhone iPad. So you can use iCloud. And I don't want to use iCloud right now, same reason for the location services, because I don't want to activate it on every single one. So I like so I'll choose that in settings and I'll show you how to do that right after I set this up. Choose next. So if you want to do diagnostic usages, it just sends it to Apple so they can help improve their future devices. So you don't send. <clears throat> you can do whatever you want. So you can register with Apple. And and uh see so register this device to your Apple ID to stay up to date on this product information and get faster access to support. I'll say yes. And then next, you get a couple check marks here and you're in. Say so you start using iPod Touch and you're in. And you got your iPod Touch right here. All activated with iOS 5 setup. And you can go down to iCloud and you can um you can choose your things that you want. So I'll do bookmarks and turn bookmarks on. And find my iPod, turn that on. <clears throat> and then if you choose it through this way, it says this enables finding my iPod touch features. Turn on location services to show the map on it. So you can say allow. And then you can go to your location services. Right here it says off. You can turn it on, and then find my iPod is what it oh is what it has, and then <clears throat> that's all 
location services has right now and just to show you this is running iOS 5 right now I'll show you right there this actually has iOS 5.1.1 so that's the newest iOS version right now so it's shipping newer than iOS 5 so this was the i Pod Touch fourth generation with iOS 5.1.1 on the setup.